First off, does it matter to you that he's not being nice to you? Uh, yes. It, it don't matter to me. It doesn't matter. It affects everything I'm that we do up there here, though. I'm we don't fine. have any friends anymore because it. of him. I love it. Okay. And, and does he think he loves you? No. I do love them. They don't understand me. I'm misunderstood. Why is that? I don't know. I have no idea. You feel like you're moody? No, not at all. I'm the nicest guy in the world. That's not true, Dr. Oz. Not true? He's lying. So give me an I just like to ask real honest questions. Like, for example, like, I know you get a lot of money, so I know you know where the hole's at. Yeah. Where the hole's at, Dr. Oz? <laughs> like, they'll get mad if I say, Dr. Oz, have doing? you ever tried to bang over? Because I would. <laughs> you see, you, you can't see, do stuff see, like, like that. Can't, like, that's Why? moody. I, I that's that. not moody. That's an honest question. I sit there and I watch Dr. Oz show and I say, Dr. Oz gotta be banging down over. <laughs> like the only guy she looks at other than you in that way is Stagman, and you're much cuter than Stagman. Oh, God, if I must say. Stagman, coming on to Dr. Oz. Coming on to Dr. Oz. <laughs> see, I can't even. Hey, I'm, 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 I'm holding his hands right now. Oh my God, Dr. Oz. A million dollar hand. You went to the wrong address at first. Oh yeah, I went to the wrong address. You thought I was not going to come, huh? No, I'm saying. I'm, I'm, trying, got your I'm trying to figure on. out. You got your workout gloves on. Just, just, just in case. Just in case. You, you were crazy. From Newark. What's the deal? What's your just deal? in what you, case. What you got planned underneath your sleeve, big homie? Nothing. I'm just going to, I'm cool now. Oh, right. We're good. Yeah. You know, just well, in case he, you flip out. Man, this is intimidating. Well, he's We're in good. the building right now. Nah, he good. He good. good. He good. He good. He good. Yeah, he good. Yeah. He good. got a hard grip. I know that much. <laughs> you know, scared me a little bit, but you know. <laughs> Birthday Charlemagne said, God damn you big. <laughs> yeah, Charlemagne was definitely Twitter thugging. Definitely. Listen, I don't Twitter thug. It's all jokes. Like, come on. Listen, you obviously got thick skin. I mean, skin. man, you good. Yo. You're a comedian. That's what you do. But listen, you, know you got thick skin because everybody was going at you last night. That's fine. You know what I mean? As soon as you popped up in high definition, people got scared <laughs> all across the nation. Oh, you're going to run your joke about it, huh? You, you, <laughs> run that, you run that <laughs> and you lost in your own <laughs> no, hold, hold, oh, wait, wait, let me, no, 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 let me pull up the numbers. Well, hold on, okay. the there was, there was two polls. Oh, yeah, the secret it was, poll. It was one on Boston <laughs> yeah, the secret poll. and one on our radio show now, on we the website. Poll. Who looked better? This was uh, Charlemagne's idea. All right, and let me, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm going to give the results. Hold up. Hold on. Good. All right, so on one poll on the Power uh, 105 uh, website, uh, yes. Uh, uh, Charlemagne uh, got 63% of the votes and Eric got 37%. Smart people. Whole bunch of slow mos on that now, poll. Now, on the real poll. <laughs> she said the real poll. On Bossip, <laughs> Charlemagne got a low 16%. Listen, Eric got, yo, th Eric got 37% like, and neither. No, show the number, 67. though. The number is what's key. 46. The number, how many votes? Listen, Papa, you got like under 200. That's a clear sign that the apocalypse is upon us. You do not look better than me. <laughs> huh? You, what? No way. There ain't no way in hell you can say you could put your picture up next to mine and you look. You look like Hellboy. I, I could be a lot of those things. That's fine with me, you know what I mean? It's, Hellboy making money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> who else you want me to look like? He, um, Somebody got to play that he, ugly position. I'll take it. That's, that's <laughs> very true. It, make the dough. This is what it's all about, right? Which, that's very true. Right. Now, mind you. <laughs> you got that No more. Now, in reality, you say this is a friends. rap. I'm not even, I can't even be your friend gonna, anymore. If we're going to do the, the whole breakup, then why? why? I'm gonna be with you over you gotta stop years. cursing on the radio, man. This is <laughs> not I am legend. It's not I am legend. You're not mad at Will Smith. This is digital radio. You Jesus. know what I mean? You can do it. You're inching a little close now. Back up. It's <laughs> <laughs> all good. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I got need to do. You do you think I mean? that you could, if you guys got back together, not cheat or do anything else anymore? Because that seems like that was the main issue. I'm good. I was young, successful, black. You know, let him call it ugly. But you know what? <laughs> still, 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 you know what I mean? I, I have to live through the experience. Why did they ban you from the reunion? You know why they ban me from the reunion? Because they didn't, nobody, wanna him, nobody, wants <laughs> definition. Definition. <laughs> nobody wants to see him in high definition. Nobody wants to see him in high definition. You still made it on there, though. <laughs> <laughs> you, know but no, but, you know what, though? No, I got it. Yeah, listen, I get out there. <laughs> Get out there, yo. He just lunges at Charlamagne. Charlamagne, Charlamagne. Charlamagne. He didn't even get to grab Charlamagne his weapon. Himself, what am I going to do, sit here? I'm going to sit here. You got the gloves, you got the boots, you act like you're ready. She ain't like, yeah, I mean, we, we good, we good, we good. We good. So, so why, did, why did they ban you? I have no, ain't got to worry about that, yo. I ain't no gangster or nothing like that, but I know. mean, my man, 20 Grand Picasso, did say you look like one version of nine know what different Grand ugly. Is. So, he, so can, he has his opinion. He's entitled. All oh, good, you know. So I hope he got a little fame <laughs> off it. Good for him. I want to make money. Everybody, I just want everybody. Yo, this guy's crazy, yo. <laughs> I'm wait, you right I, now, this guy right here. I, mean, I have one more question. This is a killer. Hold on, wait. I, I know a show. killer when I'm I'm you. When you say, you say, I'm telling you. Hanging out with us today. Yeah. I'm oh, glad yeah. you didn't knock out on uh, Charlemagne, but we no. still got a little bit of time. Yeah. yeah. Before he leaves, he perhaps. ain't gonna knock me out. No, the man. He keep we, it up. We can scrap. <laughs> now Charlamagne's feeling a little I mean, more confident. Get knocked out. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm you not saying like, I'm not saying I can out. take him. Right, right, but right. I'm just saying, you know, he ain't nah, gonna do it. Nah, I'm a grown man. Like you know, he just <laughs> <too> <laughs>
I ain't got no time. I'm for definitely that. gonna sue. <laughs> I got umbrella insurance though. I'm the, you know what that is. <laughs> what is it? Exactly. You know what I mean? I knock your ass out. You can't do to me. But you gotta understand something true, big homie. Uh oh. You know what oh, I mean? Oh god. Tell him. I live in the states. I wasn't born in the states. So you gotta remember that. I can go somewhere else if I want to. Ooh. You can. Authorities, you hear that? <laughs> 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 it's DJ and me, Angelina. Back on that beat. That back on that beat. <laughs> Eric Williams, you know the Breakfast saying? Club on Power Yeah, you guys would totally object to how Charlemagne is speaking to these young gentlemen. Yeah, he asked if uh, Roxy tried to smash one of them yesterday. Listen, I was watching 106 in Park, and it seemed like Roxy was feeling one of y'all. So I was asked, I said, which one of y'all was Roxy trying to smush yesterday? Oh, man, stop it. Stop it. How old are you guys? All 14. All 14. All 14. You should yeah, be ashamed yeah. of yourself, Y'all virgins? Charlemagne. They're man, come on. When you were 14, old. was you a virgin? Yes. Yes. Have some real talk with these young men. Oh, well. Yes. Of course they are. Uh, yeah. uh, yes, they yes, are. Yes, we are. I'm hearing 35 year old women coming to y'all shows and coming to y'all in stores. <laughs> nice. Y'all better take advantage of some of that vintage vagina. <laughs> Stop, yo, I know. Oh, so you guys recently opened up for Janet Jackson. How was that? This is very, that was amazing. She's a night high. Mm -hmm. She gave us great advice like stay together, stay humble. Right. At the end of the tour, she got us all iPods. And she's beautiful. Oh, See, and y'all at y'all the age where y'all can sneak in her dress room when she's getting so dressed not, and she not, wouldn't not, trip. Not, you know what I'm saying? They can see her naked though. and they wouldn't that's, trip. That's it's like, Janet. oh, it's just them. She get dressed in front of y'all. Hide in the closet, pop out yes. with naked. I have to say, I'm disgusted at how Sean made it. These 14 year olds. I'm done with you, okay? What's his name? His <laughs> name is Ray Ray. Ray Ray's done with Don't make I'm me so... take off my belt, Ray Ray. <laughs> Charlemagne, <laughs> you're not going to do that to these. No, I like these guys. I'm okay. You know, I want to give them good oh, advice. Oh, you said like, take off your belt, I thought. You know, we thought you was going left. <laughs> I'm not Chris Stokes, and that's what y'all need to stay away from. If you ever uh, try to manage y'all, run. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. This guy is crazy. Don't, like, who gets yeah. the chick first? Charlemagne was late to work that All other day. All of us. All of us. All right, all right. <laughs> Y'all run trains? Oh, yeah. Come on, Charlemagne! <laughs> Listen, we're not going to act like these guys are not having sex, okay? They're, they're not having they're sex, man. They're only 14 years old. And <laughs> this the one right here. He's knocking everything down. <laughs> this guy right here is knocking everything down. Yes, he's knocking everything down. I'll some drops, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> It's got to, you know, just Chris Stokes, stay away from him. Oh, come on. No Marcus Houston collaborations. Come on. <laughs> Raz B, definitely block right. him on Twitter. I agree with that. Yeah, block him, him on Twitter. Block him on Twitter. Right. We need you on Twitter so you can do all the chores. No. That's, that's, right. Right. that's, that's right. never going to happen. Hey, Charlamagne. Well, that's that's what I'm talking about. And Dick and Joe should have slapped back back. Oh, man. <laughs> Clean the toilet. And, you know. Can y'all imagine that? Hold on, Jack. So Big Timber Boots, a Dicky jumpsuit with Joe snap back backwards. Can we set that up? Kind of like DMX and I'm, Joe. I'm, yeah, I'm going to call Chris Stokes to come oh kidnap y'all for a week. <laughs> <laughs> you know what Chris Stokes is going to do to you guys? <laughs> put you Listen, all in Charlamagne, could, would you go on tour now. and clean the tour bus? No. You know how many chicks you can meet? They'd be young. And that's and exactly perfect jail. for you. It's perfect for like no. you. Like you haven't been before. Yes, I have been. <laughs> I definitely have been to jail before. For what you're talking about. I'm about to get Chris Stokes on the phone. <laughs> I'm not completely. Now, and what's the craziest thing that you guys see on tour? Which one's going to be the first one, 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 one to go solo? You have to start thinking about that, too. Who's the Bobby Brown? That's a good question. Who's the Omarion? Who's the Omarion? Who's the Omarion? Who's the Raz B? Who's the Raz B? No. No. No Raz B. Yeah, this is very weird. We're never planning. I'm going solo. Really? We want to stick together, even if we do have disagreements. Who? Just a what? Disagreements. Oh, who are y'all asking? Was that like? too much of a big word for you? Oh, 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 my name oh. is Who's Envy, and I'm the best. All uh. the girls want to see my chest. I go, ugh. <laughs> wow. So light skinned. Yeah, they riding with me? Envy, you ruined that. Yeah, you, you definitely ruined that. And then when she showed her chest, then they leave because then they saw all of your taco me like that. Oh, oh my God. This man. little kid got jokes. Now they got to get out. What's this guy's name? Now Ray Ray? Know, Ray Ray. Now they got to get out. Ray Ray. 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 <laughs> I'm going to pray for your anus and for the Chris of the world. It's the Breakfast Club of <laughs> It's mindless your behavior. Name, your name's Big Sean, but you're not big. You weigh about 100 pounds, and you're always wearing wife beaters. Yeah, man, So I got I you am, some muscle bro. milk. That's okay, this is for you. <laughs> muscle milk, all right. Muscle milk. You got the dumbbells over here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why are you here? You can do some concentration curls. Yeah, I need that. You know, let me see but I told, I told <laughs> you. But I told you. You said, let me see you do one. Hold on, let's see come this. Come on, come on. That's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> he got it up. Yeah. He got Shot. it up. There you go. Oh, he got it up. There you go. God, there you go. He got it up. We're going to get about 60 <laughs> more pounds on him and start calling him Big Sean for real. That's what I'm but talking about, But I told you why they call him Big Sean, Charlemagne. Why? Anyway, because I got a big heart and a big ass. Um, All right, a big ass. It's a family show. <laughs> two, ass, uh, two, it's two guys in the room. It's a lot of guys in the room. Family show. Family show. And you'll think you're hitting on him if you say that. See, like this. this right here gonna keep you from getting beat up on World Star. There you yeah, go. One. Then you got turn him. Turn him. Two. There you go. Turn it back. Three. There you go. Four. There you go. 
Five. There you go. Bitch. There you go. Seven. There you go. Bitch. That's right. Game don't want no problems. <laughs> you better tell that nigga. <laughs> Ten. Eleven. There you go. Get the fifteen. Get the fifteen. Thirteen. Get the fifteen. Get the fifteen. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I do it. I do it. <laughs> I remember the incident. I vaguely do remember the incident, and somebody actually snitched on you, though. It Someone... was at BB King's. Yeah, we were there partying. Yeah. Someone Natalie Nunn was at the you. table next to us. You was on the stage saying you run LA, and everybody was like, nobody cares. This is New York. And then somebody, I just saw somebody throw Coco Loso on. How do you know it was Coco I, Loso? Because he threw it, probably. <laughs> no, I, don't, I mean, I don't know it was Coco Loso. My I'm just saying. Is, just... My issue is, I just don't understand why guys want to always get involved in whatever girls have going on. Like, if, even you if know, you didn't Well, Charlamagne's like one of the you girls. You know everything no, no, about what no, happened that I'm night. I'm going to be honest. Like, you know, I, like, I, don't, I, just, I just don't be understanding why chicks like you were famous. So, oh. I, so, I, so I, I get heated sometimes when I see y'all come to the club and act up. I'm like, who does this chick think she is? No, I didn't throw the drink. I'm just saying. Allegedly. Yeah, I didn't throw the drink. Allegedly, I'm just saying. Allegedly, allegedly. I can see why somebody would probably throw a drink. Like, yo, if you don't keep throwing the drink, it doesn't matter. If you have a child, right? You, you don't have any kids? I do not have yeah, any kids. Yeah, all right. So when you have a child and, and the child looks up, Mommy Natalie Nunn and then sees you on TV fighting looking like an animal. That's what you I got. was 22 now, years you're old. You're known as the loud mouth, <laughs> big chin chick from Bad and Girls Club. That was fighting. That allegedly cut flow in the guy. Yes. 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 You're is, smarter and brighter no, than me. No, and I totally understand that. Like, I totally get that. But what I've been able to do was not just be um, a face on the Bad Girls Club and think that I'm going to run with the fans. You haven't really I've, done anything. I've done a lot. What have we seen her do since Bad Girls Club? Are you kidding me? I passed out turkeys on Thanksgiving. That's the most beautiful thing anybody can do. And anybody can do that. You don't have to be famous to pass out turkeys? What do you mean? Like, it's a beautiful thing that a celebrity would take the time out of their day. So if your daughter not really a celebrity, wanted to do Bad Girl Club or 15. Why don't you feel that? Celebrities have talent. Celebrities are known for doing something. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to have to have you back up right there. Hold up. Kim Kardashian is a celebrity. Hold on. Two point. What's her talent? Show a nipple or fight. Either or. No. Your image is forever tainted because. The bad girl it's club. not tainting. Yes, like, it is. Good, whatever like, you did at USC, no, whatever you did with the soccer no, thing, that's not all of that is null and void. It's not because true. It is. Bad no, club. it's not because at the end of the day, I've been able to take the whole bad girls club brand and brand it into knows Natalie, Natalie and knows. Knows. I mean, and yeah. I'm gonna tell you what else. It shouldn't even be. It shouldn't surprise people that you went to USC. But the way you carry yourself makes people like, what? She well, no, I would say this, Natalie Nunn. And Charlamagne, Charlamagne, I did see Natalie Nunn on a flight with your boy Little Duval, and he's changed his seat and everything so they could sit together. And I will say this, and everything. Little Duval did that. Just so he could clown her. That's everything all. that I've ever seen. That's the everything only I've ever seen Natalie Nunn do when she does interviews and she gets into her arguments with people, she doesn't sound stupid. Mm -mm. You know, so it's not like nobody I would said think she that was she's... stupid. Just said she looks. So do you encourage? Crazy so Angela Yee, do you encourage your I... girls to go to path with <laughs> Natalie Nunn to be on Bad Girls Club? I encourage. I'm gonna step in and say something. I encourage any girl who goes on Bad Girls Club and can flip what they did on the Bad Girls Club to make all the money that I've made, so that she could be independent, so, successful. Not go sit here and make me believe that there's so much money in not, Bad Girls Club. Not in the Bad Girls Club. Off Two thousand, three thousand an episode, maybe. No, I'm not talking about being on the show. Hosting parties? About, a couple, no, a couple thousand dollars to host a party? Parties. Did you not hear what I said? I guess you don't know what Charles Schwab is. I guess you don't know what... Well, you're, like, you're, you know what I mean? There's oh certain God. things that I have been you able to... You don't have to be on the Bad Girls Club to get money to invest in stock, Natalie Knight. Come on. No, be but, for real. But no, I'm being for I real. I mean, like, different people choose different paths. Yeah, sure, That's the path she went. I, There's opinion, people that so love... Do you encourage girls to go on reality shows just because they date certain people? No, not, not at all. all. I clown them, too. Yeah. I hate so them, too. So you're saying, basically, you don't... Yeah. Really and, you look at, and you look at Jersey so, Shore and all they do on that... Bad Girls Club gave basic bitches a chance. What about Jersey Shore? A bunch I of girls like, that do nothing. What do you Actually. mean? Uh, most of the girls in the Bad Girls Club really didn't do nothing. The other girls that are on these shows don't do nothing. Like, they don't do anything. They're just someone's girlfriend or... You can't encourage these young girls to do shows like that. What do your parents say? Your parents are like you. What do your parents say? My father is an ex football player. My mother was a stay home mom. So at the end of the day, it's kind of like. They're like, you went to USC to do this? No, like. Ellie, let me ask you a question. So, what is the plan for you, though, now? With everything, like for the future, what is your plan? What are you going to do? I'm writing a book, obviously. About what? About my life. Um, about how you made poor choices, about how you went to USC no. and then you decided to be an idiot in the background. <laughs> absolutely not. No, absolutely not. Um, I'm writing a book and, um, you know, unfortunately, like, the now book let me ask you will probably gonna... do very well. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> Are you going to name the people, some of the people that you had sex? Are you gonna name? No, 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 come on, come on. <laughs> she, I, wanna, I want her to keep going on what she's going to do. Okay, you're writing a book and what else? Um, obviously, you know, I've done a lot of different investments. Um, she doesn't really have a plan, ladies and gentlemen. She no, doesn't know what to do. At the end of the day, she there's a lot go. of different 
a lot of different businesses that I have invested in, um, a lot of different phone applications that have already just this year launched in the last month. Um, so you I know don't phone really apps have... aren't hard to get. Like it's regular people are here with phone apps now. You know that, right? Well, let me ask. It sounds her. like you're really mad. Do you want? Do you I'm want a reality mad. show? I'm not mad. I'm just saying. Like, just, like I have, you really want a reality show? I have a show. show. It's called Guy Code. It comes on 11 p.m. on MTV2 on Tuesdays. It was the highest rated show in MTV2 okay. history. All right. And I have another show that me and Duval have coming out for the summer. Okay. So yeah, I'm good. Well, listen, Duval? let me ask you a question. Yeah, so I'm good. <laughs> on, the, on MTV2, the, so I'm good. All right. Yeah, I'm just in saying. Don't, 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 don't pull my card. Like I ain't out here doing this book. You can't money and happy with your life either. Sounds like you're mad. I'm not mad. I mean, listen. Your first opportunity was when you played Mac tonight on the McDonald's commercial. Remember the big moon creature? Okay. Mm-hmm. The big head moon creature who uh-huh. played the piano. All that right. was her first opportunity. Okay. And you know, you got, unfortunately, it's you're, guys you're, like you. You're, Wait a minute. You're on a hundred dollar bills because she got a big face. Okay. All right. You know. So you know? that's all you have to say. It's, like, I, I it's just wonder, really is funny. it hard? It's funny because this is uh-huh. this is the type of stuff when I come when I when I like run into guys uh-huh. like bitch ass guys. This you uh-huh. are the definition of a bitch ass guy. Okay. I'm just gonna tell you because no at this the end good. of the day, there's girls out there who are you know they hate. Okay. But what would you be so mad about? You're the definition of a woman who has no talent. You're the no reason. Talent. You're the reason that all of these chicks are running to these reality shows. All that means. Nothing, so cause you, you did Bad you. Girls Club. I, it doesn't matter. You're known as the loud mouth, uh-huh. big chin chick from the Bad Girls Club. I'm, Nobody cares about it. your USC and degrees. And I love it. But you are, you are the nobody, worst example for women out here. Nobody knows anybody else from the Bad Girls Club. You are the worst example for women out here. The worst. And I'm okay with that. But guys like you, who are bitch, who are who is the definition of a bitch ass. No doubt. Yes. Let me ask you a serious question. That's the thing I'm just saying. You're right, you're right. I'm you a bit, are. I don't bitch they don't get a, They don't get no along. Doubt. Some of these females No doubt, you're right. That, so as long as you're right. You know, okay. All right, guys, this is a conversation. Don't ask going, a serious question. This one, no, 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 one serious question. There we go. Just one serious question. <laughs> is it hard living a normal life with your massive face skull deformity? Absolutely not. I love okay. everything about me, and that's it. This is getting a little rude. This is getting a little rude. That's not. Each and every Friday, we do a segment called Whole Appreciation Day. Oh, shit. Amber Rose, right. who I know is your, not really your friend. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger has made it in there. Right. Who else? Uh, A whole lot of people. Stop trying to soften Lowe. the blow. Yeah, Natalie Lopez. Nunn is going Cameron to the Diaz, whole Hall of Fame. Wait, well, you've been linked with a lot of people, Natalie Nunn. Oh, have I been linked to the Hall of Fame? Right now. We're going to go through the <laughs> list. Yet another reason to be proud of this USD <laughs> degree. Hold on, hold on. invited to the screening. Yeah. They, they did separate screenings, so oh, Kim yeah. and I had our own. We had our own, own um, special. It was me, Kim, Mama Jones, and I think someone right. was invited to ours. They separated everybody. Why did they do that? Just so that there would be enough time for interviews. There's a lot of us this year, so mm. they wanted everybody to get their interview time in. And because Chrissy caught the fade on Kim Bella, they didn't want it to happen again. At the <laughs> they want no more fighting going yeah. down. They oh, wanted to catch Jesus. the fade again. We'll talk about. We'll right. talk about that right. in a little right. bit. We'll talk about Shamalaj. that in a little bit. That was my home we'll sure. Okay. Now some people say. That, you know, Chrissy getting up. Now, I thought, okay, I didn't think that Chrissy at all should have put her hands on you or attacked you. You kept telling her, this has nothing to do with you. This is between me and Emily. Right. Now, Charlamagne and I had a huge argument about that this morning. Mm -hmm. Because he feels like it was deserved. The fade was warranted. That's just ignorance. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I feel like, you know, of course, people are going to have their own opinions. There's going to be the mature uh, um, opinions, and then there's going to be the ignorant ones. You must be the ignorant ones. So you think it was mature of you to tell a woman that you banged her? I don't, I don't, no one should put any hands on anybody, period. I think Chrissy was sticking up for her friend because Chrissy probably looked at the situation There's and said... There's a way to stick up for your friend by not putting your hands on somebody. We could have just had a heated argument, you know, uh, agree to disagree, and that would be it. But you did try it, though. When she stood up, you told her, oh, you're going to stand up? And she so? called me a bitch. What happened? Well, she, the, what's right. she supposed to do? Uh, I say I mean, nothing? What, you, you know what? You're team Chrissy. Stay over there. No, That's I'm crazy. not team anybody, but I just think how you said it's immature no, for me just, to want to fight. I think real. it's immature like to go on television no, 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 and tell a woman you banged her man just for show. Sure. Bella, right? Uh-oh. No, that's not a bad question. Uh, okay, but like let's bef- see. Before you, like, you know, say things on TV like, you know, different rappers you bang, does, does Jewels know about these guys beforehand? Again, like I said, and Envy already asked this question. He knows my past just like I know his. Okay. We put all our cards on the table from the gate. So you don't really have to worry about our relationship. I'm just, you know, that's just something you need to know. Well, I mean, the, your relationship is public now because it's on yeah, television. Yeah, I'm just telling you that you don't, you don't really. People have are going to worry about, about it because you're I'm on TV you, now. You, because you're asking. You I asking do me radio. The question. This is my job. I'm so sure as long they, as you're I'm putting sure your relationship I'm sure public, I'm gonna ask I'm, questions. I'm coming to you and telling you face to face that. You know, me and Jewels are good. Come on, it, it is what it is. We all have paths. Let me look up your paths, Sean. I'm a hoe. Okay. A dirty Let hoe. me look up your paths. And I'm a <laughs> dirty hoe, and I treat hoes hey, dirty, so hey, they cannot ever go on TV and say what this. I did to them. 
and you I don't do know things me. like I take frozen and corn dogs listen, and stick them up their boxes the and then make them eat the corn dog. And once <laughs> so they can't never go and stay the day I sex with me on TV. You will actually That's get disgusting. to know who I really am. Well, speaking so, of one on one, Chrissy Mayweather did kind of uh, Victor Ortiz you. I called you Kimbella Ortiz. You think you could take her in a one on one? Straight up fade, face to face? Listen, mono, how, mono. listen to these ignorant questions. I mean, do you want to see us fight again? Is that what you like to see us fight? I mean, like, I mean, you do, tell me. Yeah, that's what yeah. we watched the show for. That's why the producers told you okay. to say that, to was, say you been fast so y'all can fight. It was obviously. You're nasty. I feel it already. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is the OG right here. Before Kim Kardashian, before Nicki Minaj, before Beyonce, you like the original great ass. There's like. only one Coca-Cola, baby. <laughs> you do go through different things in your life, and there's different phases mm-hmm. for sure, you know, and you know what's right for you, you know, don't get yourself in too much trouble with the bad boys, you know. <laughs> <laughs> trouble is fun. Now, now, it can be fun for a little while. She's like, that's too much trouble. Then, it's not fun. then all of a sudden, it just takes a deep turn, and you're like, how the hell You're on like, the front page yeah. of the post, like, oh my God, we're <laughs> shooting. What else? Stop, stop. Take those here. You want to highlight it? Album. And then tell me what you think. I gotta stop looking you in the eyes, man. I feel like how Jamie Foxx talked about when he said he looked in Prince's eyes. <laughs> I got my heart beating fast. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, she's beautiful. I'm sorry, before you walked in, he did say, what did you, is Jayla wearing a skirt? He was trying to put a mirror <laughs> I was, he was gonna put a mirror on his foot. He I would def- not do that. He def- okay, maybe I would. Jayla gotta but go. I wouldn't. Jayla gotta go, guys. We appreciate <laughs> you hanging with us today. <laughs> <laughs> and you are a MILF, and I, I, I you're, All right. you're, you're yeah, still the best ass in the business. <laughs> DJ MB, Angelina, Solomon, guys. What's your living female, you mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. 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 Right. Oh my God! How do you relate to Arbor? Because we both like to have a good time. We're both single. Okay. Right. We like. We both like to drink. Okay. I never kissed We're a girl. Honest. Yeah. Now, <laughs> you know what? That's. A, I'm glad you said honest because some. You people... are brushing yourself right now. You're like, what's his face in poetic Chicago. justice? Chicago. Chicago, yeah. dude. He's like a little puppy. <laughs> some people like when I heard. I heard a You're clip. You're cuter than Chicago, though. Thank you. Don't, don't even do that. Right I don't do it, Arbor. She's telling the truth. Let her speak her truth. <laughs> Listen, she said she's the honest person. Let her speak her truth. Okay. <laughs> But, but she's done a lot of other things besides that. Like, you were doing Broadway. Mm-hmm. Right. Which is a big deal. Broadway. Went from Broadway to doing the cover of Playboy to Peep Show. Mm-hmm. You did Playboy? Mm-hmm. Well, it was that when that vagina came out? I didn't see that. No, there wasn't any <laughs> It was just oh. I didn't see it. Hold on. Let me Google that. Not right now while she's sitting right here. Does Absolutely that Absolutely right now. No, dude. Here. Pull it up. I had no idea I <laughs> did Playboy. When was this? <laughs> I did the cover of the March music what? issue after Mariah did it the year before. Now, let me ask you this, Arby, while he's pulling that up. Yeah. And pulling his out. Um, <laughs> let's talk- images. She's like, look oh, me up. Right here, baby. <laughs> no, but I, I did watch the show, and there's a lot more to it than that because you are trying to do your, your solo album. Computer don't fail me now. <laughs> And you've had a lot of issues too. Like uh-huh. you're talking about like your weight and the choreography and everything. You're like, I'm not 100 pounds anymore. Right. Like I you used to be. Go, yeah, I'm there looking you go. at the boobs and ass right now, baby. <laughs> no, I'm not. And, and you're very emotional, oh, you know, I during the show. You. As as I would. Did assume. you like that? I think that's great. Cool. I think it's good. And even on when I watch you on making the band and all the girls, it really shows how difficult it is. Like sometimes people see you and they see you come out with music and they don't know the whole struggle that goes behind it. Like right. everybody struggles. Right. You know, with those issues. Right. And I think it was really like they, they caught me in a vulnerable moment because I wasn't really expecting that because I like being thicker and I like having a curvy body and I don't really look at it as something that's a problem. So it's not a, a problem, baby. I'm looking at your naked pictures right now. <laughs> it's definitely not a problem. <laughs> This website gave you a B minus. They are totally B bugging. B minus. Yes, they gave you a B minus. <laughs> totally bugging. I give you a. I give you a strong A. A strong A. Strong A. This is nice. <laughs> this is really nice. Um, I like a guy that is funny, that makes me laugh, that doesn't take himself too seriously. That's Charlie. Look at him winning. Right. I just want to have sex. I like- though. I'm not into all that other. <laughs> Wait, I'm not into that though. Mm-mm. What? Just, just having sex? Yeah. Not into you strike it. me as the casual sex type. Not at all. <laughs> I've had one one night stand, and I've slept with one celebrity person in the in the industry, and that's it. Who was the celebrity? Was it DJ Cassidy? It's cool to say. It's He's cool. not a celebrity, is he? Uh, kind of. Yeah. Oh. I mean, we all know. Well, I slept Listen, with him, but he was actually my boyfriend. We all know it was Diddy, so it's cool. <laughs> I mean, it's cool though. Like it happened. You know what I'm saying? Like I think one. Reason, Diddy goes hard. One Why reason, do you think I slept with Diddy? Why do you think that? She's not because she, you you're not think denying that's my it. My type, dude. The guy I hooked up with was way finer than that. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Oh. I mean, I, I mean, it just seems. And like a dope for rapper too. Really? So he was a rapper. 
Okay, listen, we're going to find out who this Wait, person is. Just give us one second. Where's he from? Was it Eminem? I'm not going to tell you was guys, it Eminem? dude. It was, a, it was a shameful moment. It's over. Wow. Why is it shameful? shameful? Was you drunk? He went, was the same way. With I just saw your new pics. You could never bore me ever again. <laughs> with the groupie guy, it was like kind of my little rebellion. Like maybe, well... Oh, it, was it was Trey. Oh it was Trey song. It was Trey. It was Trey. It was Trey. It was Trey. Trey smashed Aubrey all day. Wow. It was Trey. I knew it was Trey. I knew it was Trey. All right. I'm trying to say rapper oh, and so and so. But I love Trey and so much. But Trey no, has Trey a lot of securities. First of all, Aubrey, I'm going to be honest with you. Does size matter to you? Penis, uh, let me just yes. say something. Did, can we have a moment for Chris Brown's wiener all over the internet? Charlamagne, you saw it too. Have a moment with us. Ew. He said Chris Brown is way bigger than him. I saw it by accident because <laughs> I have a Twitter page and when pictures Stop pop up on the Twitter, story, man. they just pop up. I saw it by accident. So you didn't like it, Arby, or you did? <laughs> no, I'm thinking of him. Pause. <laughs> but I definitely don't have the down to my knee length and I would rather have the you know? Listen, I don't think any girl wants the down to the knee mm-hmm. length. I mean, I'm not going to speak for all women out there, but I don't want that. I mean, that's a yeast infection waiting to happen, dude. Yeah, mine is like baby bed porridge. It's just right. Like, I'm like seven and three fourths. I know because I've measured it before. Is that too big for you? And it's, you know, I'm 16 and a half inches? That's too much. Let me tell you what's wrong with him. What am I going to do with all that penis? His body is well, I don't mean that in my way. I'm <laughs> oh just saying, goodness. if I had a 16 and a half Whoa. inch penis, what would I do with that? For two weeks, the first time, and then we're going back. Mm-hmm. And the first time we're going, we're opening up for Nicole Scherzinger. And then the second time, then we're going to really get Oh, you know she's it. single now. Oh, well. Word. Yeah. My turn. Ah. <laughs> ah. A lot of good vagina in London, young man. Stop. Whoa, really? A lot of bloody box. That's what ah, we call it. Bloody like, box. Oh, wow. Yeah. Bloody. Yeah. Nobody wants that. None of us. None I of actually us have a yet. wife. What? You have a wife? Huh? Yeah. My okay. man. <laughs> yeah. Who's your wife? Um, I have about like 68 on Twitter. Like Princeton wifey 143. Oh my gosh. Princeton, uh, yeah. So That's you're getting them all Valentine's. Yeah. That's what I'm talking you know about you right there. Wife, you Do have you responsibilities. Oh. Is that good with you? Yeah. You might okay. be a little young. I don't want to lose uh, my job and go to jail. You trying <laughs> to tell me young. these young men ain't knocking women down? Come on. Nah, they good guys. Come on, these guys are pimps, young pimps they in training, B. Guys. Please. What do, what do you do guys. when somebody that's like 18 years old tries to come on to you? Put a, get a, put a condom you on. You stand on our tippy toes and get on our deep boards. Oh. Um, Okay. What would I do on a date? First date. Okay. Valentine's Day date. What's a special Valentine's Day date? Yeah, oh. I'd be at LA. This is Ray Ray. Ah. I'd be at LA. Take a girl on the beach. Yeah. Hang out for a second. Take her to one of my favorite movie theaters. Ah. Ray it's Rizzle. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ray Rizzle. Let go. <laughs> you already know the deal. A lot of power like, being a young singer, I mean, man. You know, these girls be yelling and screaming for you, crying for you, falling out, passing out, ready to do any and everything. Yeah, what's the you craziest ask? thing you ever seen on tour? We were in Milwaukee, right? Yeah, yeah, Milwaukee, and we were going like 100 miles per hour in our tour bus trying to get away, and a fan jumped in front of the tour bus and just and laid down, out. Like, it's, like it's like you either stop and give us an autograph or you run me over. Wow. She have told her, come lay down in the bus. Let's see what oh, that mouth on, do, though. Man, wow. What that mouth do, though. So what happened? actually doing something. It's a lot of talentless people out here making money. Yeah. Reality show stars, stuff like that. You really want to leave your legacy, make a mark. Definitely. Yes. Yes. Have a name for ourselves. Get that money. So you can have more girls. So tell us about <laughs> more girls lead to more sex. No, no, <laughs> That's no. what it's about, young man. No, but, t- but tell us about this. But now there's a member that I'm hasn't Lord, talked as, uh, hasn't talked as yet. The Bobby Brown of the crew. Why haven't you spoken? You must have gotten a fight or something. What's going on? No, 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 no. It's just when you know girls be brought up. Like I don't like to answer no questions. Why you have a girlfriend? No, <laughs> it's just I don't like, like to answer no questions because you know. <laughs> Inappropriate stuff is being said, so I don't like. To oh, say he don't like for me talking about sex with the guy. Yeah, I don't like. I don't like to say anything. I can understand. Mm-hmm. Oh, but you can answer questions about Valentine's Day and your plans for yeah, Valentine's Day. Yeah, I understand that. Mm-hmm. He's a let the guy be a good guy. He's a Tim Tebow of the crew. Let him be cool. He's cool. The what as a group? Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow's a virgin. <clears throat> Two. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yeah. He's like thirty-eight. He's like thirty-eight virgin. Real. Oh, so That's from the forty-year-old. He's got virgin. morals. He's got values. <laughs> you know. And I'm guessing you did a project on him. So yeah, yeah. that's good. You got to have somebody like that in the group to give it balance. Let y'all be the whores. Did you guys stop doing today? No yeah, problem. Thank you. Shout me. Thanks for being on your best behavior. These are my little guys. When they turn 18, you know what we're gonna do? What? We're gonna hit the club. What club? No, we're not. <laughs> we're gonna get we some women. In, how do he stay on air? Um, <laughs> we, don't, we haven't figured it out ourselves. Okay. A stay home mom. Mm-hmm. Um, so at the end of the day, it's kind of like they're like you went to USC to do this. No, like Ali, let me ask you a question. So life. what is so, the plan for you though now well, with everything I, like for the future? What is your plan? What are you gonna do? I'm writing a book, obviously. Oh, about what? Great. About my life. Um, about how you made poor choices. About how you went to USC no, and then you decided to be an idiot in the background. Not, <laughs> no, absolutely not. Um, I'm writing a book, and um, you know, unfortunately, like. 
The Let book me ask you a question. Will probably gonna... do very well. Let and me ask you a question. <laughs> are you going to name the people, some of the people that you had sex? Are you going to name? No, no, no. Talk about, talk about. <laughs> she, I, want to, I want her to keep going on what she's going to do. Okay, you're writing a book and what up? Um, obviously, you know, I've done a lot of different investments. Um, she doesn't really have a plan, ladies and gentlemen. She no, doesn't know where to go. At the end of the day, she there's a lot of different. <laughs> A lot of different businesses that I have invested in, um, a lot of different phone applications that I've already just this year launched in the last month. Um, so you I know phone really apps have... aren't hard to get. Like it's regular people out here with phone apps now, you know that, right? Well, let me ask. It sounds her. like you're really mad. Do you want? Do you want I'm a reality show? I'm not mad. Show? I'm just saying, like this. Like I have, you really want a reality show? I have a show. show. It's called Guy Code. It comes on 11 p.m. on MTV2 on Tuesdays. It was the highest rated show in MTV2 okay. history. All right. And I have another show that me and Duval have coming out for the summer. Okay. So yeah, I'm good. But listen, Duval? let me ask you a question. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm good. On, on MTV2. The, the, so I'm good. All right. Yeah, I'm just in saying. Don't don't, 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 don't pull my card. Like I ain't out here doing this book. You can't and happy with your life either. Sounds like you're mad. I'm not mad. I mean, listen. Your first opportunity was when you played Mac tonight on the McDonald's commercial. Remember the big moon creature? Okay. The big head moon creature who uh -huh. played the piano. Okay. That was her first opportunity. Okay. And you know, you got, unfortunately, it's you're, guys you're, like you. You're, Wait a minute. You're on a hundred dollar bills because she got a big face. Okay. All right. You know. So you that's know? all you have to say. It's, like, I, I just wonder, really is funny. it hard? It's funny because this is uh -huh. this is the type of stuff when I come when I when I like run into guys uh -huh. like bitch ass guys. This you uh -huh. are the definition of a bitch ass guy. Okay. I'm just gonna tell you because no doubt. at it's the end good. of the day, there's girls out there who are you know they hate. Okay. But what would you be so mad about? You're the definition of a woman who has no talent. You're the no reason. Talent. You're the reason that no all of these chicks are running to these reality shows. All that means. Nothing, because you did Bad you, Girls Club. I, it doesn't matter. You're known as the loud mouth, uh -huh. big chin chick from the That's, Bad Girls Club. Nobody cares about it. your USC and degrees. And I love it. But you are, Charlotte, you are but the nobody, worst but example for women out here. Nobody knows anybody else from the Bad Girls Club. Right? You are the right? worst example for women it. out here. The worst. And I'm okay with that. But it's guys like you who are bitch, who are who is the definition of a bitch ass. No doubt. Yes. Let me ask you a serious question. That's the thing I'm just saying. You're right, you're right. I'm you a bit, are. I don't bitch ass. They, they don't get a lot. They don't get a lot. Than some of these females No doubt, you're right. So as long you're as right. You're okay. All right, guys, this is right. a conversation. No, I'm going to ask a serious question. This one. Can I ask one, one serious question? There we go. Just one serious question. <laughs> is it hard living a normal life with your massive face skull deformity? Absolutely not. I love okay. everything about me. And that's it. This is getting a little weird. This is getting a little weird. That's not. Each and every Friday, we do a segment called Whole Appreciation Day. Oh, shit. Amber Rose, right. who I know is your, not really your friend. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger has made it in there. Right. Who else? Uh, A whole lot of people. Stop trying Halo. to soften the blow. Yeah, Natalie Lopez. Nunn is going Cameron into the Diaz, whole Hall of Fame. <laughs> well, you've been linked with a lot of people, Natalie Nunn. Oh, Nunn's. have I been linked to? Yeah, now we're going to the whole Hall of Fame. Right we're going to go through the <laughs> list. Yet another reason to be proud of this USD <laughs> degree. How done, how done. Invited to the screening. You know. they, they did separate screenings. So Kim oh, yeah. and I had our own. We had on, our own um, special. It was me, Kim, Mama Jones, and I think someone right. was invited to ours. They separated everybody. Why did they do that? Just so that there would be enough time for interviews. There's a lot of us this year, so mm. they wanted everybody to get their interview time in. And because Chrissy caught the fade on Kim Bella, they didn't want it to happen again. At the <laughs> they premiere. want no more fighting. Yeah, going yeah. they wanted to catch the fade again. We'll talk about. We'll right. talk about that <laughs> in a little bit. We'll talk about Shambalage. that a little bit. That was my home we'll sure. Okay. Now some people say. That, you know, Chrissy getting up. Now, I thought, okay, I didn't think that Chrissy at all should have put her hands on you or attacked you. You of kept course. telling her, mm -hmm. this has nothing to do with you. This is between me and Emily. Right. Now, Charlamagne and I had a huge argument about that this morning. Because mm -hmm. he feels like it was deserved. The He's, fade was warranted. That's just ignorance. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like, you know, of course, people are going to have their own opinions. There's going to be the mature parent, uh, um, opinions, and then there's going to be the ignorant ones. You must be the ignorant exactly. one. Think, so you think no, it was mature like of you to man, tell a woman you that you never, banged her? You should, I don't, I don't, no one should put any hands on anybody, period. I think Chrissy was sticking up for her friend because Chrissy probably looked at the situation There's and said, a way to stick up for your friend by not putting your hands on somebody. We could have just had a heated argument, you know, uh, agree to disagree, and that would be it. But you did try it, though. When she stood up, you told her, oh, you're going to stand up? Right, and she so, called me a bitch. What happened? Well, that's she, What's she supposed to do? Uh, I say I mean, nothing? What, you, you know what? You're they, I'm glad you didn't knock out on Charlemagne, but we no. still got a little bit of time. Yeah, yeah. before he leaves, He perhaps. ain't going to knock me out. Oh, no, man. You keep we, it up. we can scrap. No, man. <laughs> now Charlamagne's feeling a little I more mean, confident. Getting knocked out. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm you know not saying I'm not saying I can out. take him. Right, right, but right. I'm just saying, you know, he ain't gonna nah, do that. I'm a grown Charlamagne man. Like you know, he just sue him. <laughs> I ain't got no time I'm for definitely that. gonna sue. <laughs> I got umbrella insurance though. I don't think you know what that is. <laughs> what is it? Exactly. You know what I mean? I knock your ass out. You can't do to me. But you gotta understand something true, big homie. Uh oh, uh -oh. Tell you know him. What oh mean? god. Tell him. I live in the states. I wasn't born in the states. So you gotta remember that. I can go somewhere else if I want to. Ooh. You can. Authorities, you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> it's DJ and Angelina. Back on that B. Back on that B.
Eric <laughs> Williams, <laughs> the Breakfast Club on Power 105. Yeah, you guys would totally object to how Charlemagne is speaking to these young gentlemen. Yeah, he asked if uh, Roxy tried to smash one of them yesterday. Listen, I was watching 106 in Park, and it seemed like Roxy was feeling one of y'all. So I was asked, I said, which one of y'all was Roxy trying to smush yesterday? Oh, man, stop it. Stop it. How old are you guys? We're all 14. 14. All 14. You should yeah, be ashamed yeah. of yourself, Y'all virgins? Charlemagne. They man, come on. When you was 14, was you a virgin? Yes. Yes. Have some real talk with these young men. Uh -huh. Yes. Of course they are. Uh, yeah. uh, yes, they yes, are. Yes, we are. I'm hearing 35-year-old women coming to y'all shows and coming to y'all in stores. <laughs> nice. Y'all better take advantage of some of that venting vagina. <laughs> so, yo, Charlemagne. Right, now, you guys recently opened up for Janet Jackson. How was that? The, this is very, that was amazing. She's a Nikon. Mm -hmm. She gave me great advice, like stay together, stay humble. Right. And at oh. the end of the tour, she got us all iPods. And she's beautiful. Oh, See, and y'all at y'all the age where y'all can sneak in her dress room when she's getting so dressed I'm and not, she wouldn't trip. Not, not, not. You know what I'm saying? They could see her naked though. and they wouldn't that's, trip. That's it's like, Janet. oh, it's just them. She get dressed in front of y'all. Hide in the closet, pop out yes. with you naked. <laughs> I have to say I'm disgusted at how Charlamagne you know what? these 14 year olds. I'm done with you, okay? What's his name? His <laughs> name is Ray Ray. Ray Ray's Ray Ray. Don't make me take off my belt, Ray Ray. <laughs> Charlemagne, you're not going to do that to these. No, I like these guys. I'm okay. trying, you know, I want to give them good oh, advice. Oh, you said like, take off your belt, I thought. You know, we thought you was going left. <laughs> I'm not Chris Dokes, and that's what y'all need to stay away from. If you ever oh, try to manage y'all, run. Come <laughs> on, come on, come on. This guy is crazy. Don't, who gets yeah. the chick first? Charlemagne was late to work that All other of us. day. All, All of us. All of us. Him. All right, all right. Y'all run trains? Oh, yeah. Come on, Charlemagne. <laughs> Listen, we're not going to act like these guys are not having sex, okay? They're, they're not having they're sex, man. They're only 14 years old. hours a day. <laughs> this the one right here. He's knocking everything down. <laughs> this guy right here is With knocking everything down. Yes, he's knocking everything right, down. some drops, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be all right. He's got to, you know, just... <laughs> Chris Stokes, stay away from him. Oh, come on. No Marcus Houston collaborations. Come on. <laughs> Raz B, definitely block right. him on Twitter. I agree with that. Yeah, block, block him, him on, on Twitter. Twitter. Block him on Twitter. Right. Right. We need you on tour so you can do all the chores. No. That's, that's, right. never, that's, that's never going to happen. Hey, Charlemagne. Well, that's what I'm talking about. And Dickie Joe show with his back and blanket. Oh, man. <laughs> Clean the toilet. And, you know. Can y'all imagine that? Hold on, Jackson. So, big tip of the boots, a Dickie jump suit with a snap back backwards. Can we set that up? Kind of like DMX and Joe. I'm going to call Chris Stokes to come kidnap. <laughs> y'all for the weekend. You know Chris Coates is going to do to you guys? We'll put you Listen, all in Charlamagne, could, would you go on now. tour and clean the tour bus? No. Nope. You know how many chicks you can meet? They'd be young. And that's and exactly perfect jail. for you. It's perfect for like you. Like you haven't been before. Yes, I have been. <laughs> I definitely have been to jail before. For what you're talking about. I'm about to get Chris Stokes on the phone. I'm not leaving. Now, what's the craziest thing that you guys have seen on tour? Which one's going to be the first one, 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 one to go solo? You have to start thinking about that, too. Who's the Bobby Brown? That's a good question. Who's the Omarion? Who's the Omarion? Who's the Raz B? Who's the Raz B? No. No. No Raz B. Yeah, this is very weird. We're never planning. I'm going solo. Really? We want to stick together, even if we do have disagreements. Who? Just a what? Disagreements. Oh, who are y'all asking? Was that too much of a big word for you? Oh, 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 my name oh. is Envy, <laughs> and I'm the best. All the uh. girls want to see my chest. I go, ugh. <laughs> Wow. So light skinned. Yeah, they ride it with me? And then you ruined that. Yeah, you yeah, definitely ruined it. And then once you show the chest, then they leave because then they saw all of your taco meat like that. Oh, oh my God. This little kid got jokes. Now they got to get out. What's this guy's name? Now Ray Ray? Know, Ray Ray. Now they got to get out. Ray Ray. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna pray for your anus and for the Chris Stokes of the world. It's the Breakfast Club of Power <laughs> It's mindless your behavior. Name, your name's Big Sean, but you're not big. You weigh about 100 pounds and you're always wearing wife beaters. Yeah, man. So I got I you am, some muscle bro. milk. That's okay, this is for you. <laughs> muscle milk, all right. Muscle milk. You got the dumbbells over here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why are you here? You can do some concentration curls. Yeah, I need that. You know, let me see but I told, I told <laughs> you. You said, let me see you do one. Hold on, let's see Come this. On. First off, does it matter to you that he's not being nice to you? Uh, yes. It, it don't matter to me. It doesn't matter. It affects everything I'm, that we do up there here, though. We don't have any friends anymore because it. of him. I love it. Okay. And, and does he think he loves you? No. I do love them. They don't understand me. I'm misunderstood. Why is that? I don't know. I have no idea. You feel like you're moody? No, not at all. I'm the nicest guy in the world. That's not true, Dr. That's not true. He's lying. So give me I just like to ask real honest questions. Like, for example, like I know you get a lot of money, so I know you know where the hole's at. Where the hoes at, Dr. Oz? <laughs> like, they'll get mad if I say, Dr. Oz, have you ever tried to bang over? Because I would. <laughs> you see, you, you can't see, do stuff see, like, like that. Can't, like, that's what? moody. I, I said that's that. not moody. That's an honest question. I sit there and I watch Dr. Oz show and I say, Dr. Oz gotta be banging down Oprah. <laughs> like the only guy she looks at 
other than you in that way is stagnant. And you're much cuter than stagnant. Oh, God, if I must say. Charlemagne, are you coming on the doctor? I'm coming on the doctor. I'm holding his hands right now. Oh, my God. Dr. Oz. A million dollar hand. You went to the wrong address at first. Oh, yeah, I went to the wrong address. You thought I was not going to come, huh? I'm saying. I'm trying to figure out. You got your workout gloves on. Just in case. Just in case. You were crazy. From Newark. What's the deal? What you just doing? What in you, case. What you got planned underneath your sleep, big homie? Nothing. I'm just going. I'm cool now. Just, uh, all right, we good. Yeah. You know, just well, in case he, you flip out. Man, this is intimidating. Uh, well, he's in good. the building right now. Nah, he good. He good. good. He good. He good. He good. Yeah, he good. Yeah, he good. Yeah. He got a hard grip. I know that much. <laughs> you know, Should scared me a little bit, but you know. <laughs> Birthday, Charlemagne said, "God damn, you big." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Charlemagne was definitely Twitter thugging. Definitely. Listen, I don't Twitter thug. It's all jokes. Like, come on. Listen, you obviously got thick skin. I mean, skin. man, you good. Yo. You're a comedian. That's what you do. But listen, you, you know got thick skin because everybody was going at you last night. That's fine. You know what I mean? As soon as you popped up in high definition, people got scared <laughs> all across the nation. Oh, you're going to run your joke about it, honey. You was <laughs> running that, you're running that <laughs> and you lost in your own. <laughs> no, hold, hold, oh, wait, wait, hold, let me, no, 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 let polls. me pull up the numbers. Well, hold on, okay. the number. Hold on, I got it. It was two polls. polls. Oh, yeah, the secret it was, poll. It was one on Boston. <laughs> yeah, the secret poll. And one on our radio show now, on we the website. Now, we did a poll. Who looked better? This was uh, Charlemagne's idea. All right, no, and let up. me, Listen. hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm going to give the results. Hold up. Hold on. Good. All right, so, on one poll on the Power uh, 105 uh, website. Uh, yes. Uh, Charlemagne uh, got 63% of the votes and Eric got 37%. Smart people. Whole bunch of slow mos on that now, poll. Now, on the real poll. <laughs> she said the real poll. On Bassif, <laughs> Charlemagne got a low 16%. Listen, Eric got, yo, Eric got 37% and neither. No, uh, show the number, 67. though. The number is what's key. 46. The number, how many votes? Listen, Papa, you got like under 200. That's a clear sign that the apocalypse is upon us. You do <laughs> not look better than me. <laughs> huh? You, what? No way. Ain't no way in hell you can say you could put your picture up next to mine and you look. You look like Hellboy. I, I'm going to be a lot of those things. That's fine with me, you know what I mean? It's, Hellboy making money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> who, who else you want me to look like? He, um, Somebody got to play that he, ugly position. I'll take it. That's, that's <laughs> very true. <laughs> Make the dough, because this was all about, right? Which, that's very true. Right. Now, my <laughs> team. <laughs> you no more. Now, in reality, you said this is a rap. I can't even be your friend anymore. If we're going to do the, the whole breakup, then why? why? I'm gonna be with you over You gotta stop years. cursing on the radio, man. This is not <laughs> I Am Legend. It's not out, I Am yo. Legend. Is, You're not mad at Will Smith. This is digital radio. You Jesus. know what I mean? You can do it. You're inching a little close now. Back up. That's <laughs> <laughs> all good. You know what I mean? But I got need to do. You do you think I mean? that you could, if you guys got back together, not cheat or do anything else anymore? Because that seems like that was the main issue. I'm good. I was young, successful, black. You know, let him call it ugly. But you know what? <laughs> <laughs> still, 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 you know what I mean? I, I have to live through the experience. Why did they ban you from the reunion? You know why they banned me from the u- reunion. Because they nobody wants to see him. Nobody, <laughs> nobody wants to see him in high definition. Nobody wants to see him. You still made it on there, though. <laughs> you know what I'm but no, but, you know what, though? No, I got it. Yeah, listen, I get out there. <laughs> Get out there, yo. yo he just lunges that Charlamagne. Charlamagne, Charlamagne did, did, he didn't even get to grab his weapon. Himself, what am I going to do, sit here? I'm going to sit here. You got the gloves, you got the boots, you act like you're ready. She ain't like that. Yeah, I mean, we, we good, we good. We good, we good. So, good. so why, did, why did they ban you? I have no, I ain't got to worry about that, yo. I ain't no gangster or nothing like that, but you I mean, know. my man 20 Grand Picasso did say you look like one version of nine different ugly. I don't even know 20 Grand Oh, yeah, so he, so, can, he has his opinion. He's entitled. It. All good, you know. So I hope he got a little fame off it. Good for him. I want to make money. Everybody, I just want everybody. Yo, this to guy's crazy, yo. I'm <laughs> telling wait, you right I, now, this guy right here. I mean, I have one more question. This is a killer. Hold on, wait. I know a show. killer when I'm I see you. You see, you see, I'm you telling you. Hanging out with us. Yeah. Come on. That's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> he got it up. Yeah. He got Shot. it up. There you go. Oh, there you go. There you go. He got it up. We're going to get about 60 more pounds on him and start calling him Big Sean for real. That's what I'm talking about, But I told you why they call him Big Sean, Charlemagne. Why? Anyway, because I got a big heart and a big ass. Um, All right, big ass. The family show. <laughs> two, ass, uh, two, two, two guys in the room. It's a lot of guys in the room. Family <laughs> show. Family show. And you'll think you're hitting on him if you say that. See, like this. this right here gonna keep you from getting beat up on World Star. There you go. One. There you got turn him. Turn him. Two. There you go. Turn it back. Three. There you go. There you go. Four. There you go. Five. There you go. Bitch. Six. There you go. Seven. There you go. Bitch. That's right. Game don't want no problems. You better tell that nigga. Ten, eleven. There you go. Get the fifteen. Get the fifteen. Thirteen. Get the fifteen. Get the fifteen. Yeah, that's right. I do it. I do it. I do 
remember the incident. I vaguely do remember the incident, and somebody actually snitched on you, though. It Someone... was at BB King's. Yeah, we were there partying. Yeah. Someone Natalie Nunn was at the you. table next to us. You was on the stage saying you run LA, and everybody was like, nobody cares, this is New York. And then somebody, I just saw somebody throw Coco Loso on. How I, you know it was Coco I, Loso? Because he threw it, probably. <laughs> no, I, don't, I mean, I don't know it was Coco Loso. My I'm just saying. Is, was... My issue is, I just don't understand why guys want to always get involved in whatever girls have going on. Like, if, even you if know, you didn't, well, Charlotte May's like one of the you girls. Know everything no, no, about what no, happened that I'm night. gonna be honest, like you know, I, like I don't, I, just, I just don't be understanding why chicks like you were famous. So, oh. I, so, I, so I, I get heated sometimes when I see y'all come to the club and act up. I'm like, who does this chick think she is? No, I didn't throw the drink. Come I'm just saying. Allegedly. Yeah, I didn't throw the drink. Allegedly, I'm just allegedly, saying. Allegedly. I can see why somebody would probably throw a drink. Like yo, if you don't keep the drink, it doesn't matter. If you have a child, right? You, you have any kids? I do not have. Yeah, all right. So when you have a child and the child looks up. Mommy Natalie Nunn and then sees you on TV fighting, looking like an animal. That's what you. I was 22 now, years you're old. You're known as the loud <laughs> mouth, <laughs> big chin chick from Bad Girls Club. Right. That and was fighting. That and allegedly I'm cut flow and in the face. Yes. You're is, smarter and brighter. Than no, and I totally understand that. Like I totally get that. But what I've been able to do was not just be um, a face on the Bad Girls Club and think that I'm gonna run with the fame. You haven't really I've, done anything. I've done a what lot. What have we seen her do since Bad Are Girls Club? Are you kidding me? What? I passed out turkeys on Thanksgiving. That's the most beautiful so thing did we. anybody can do. And anybody can do that. You don't have to be famous to pass out turkeys. Do, what do you mean? Like, it's a beautiful thing that a celebrity would take the time out of their day. So if your daughter not really a celebrity, wanted to do Bad but Girl Club of 15. Feel that? Why don't you feel that? that? Celebrities have talent. Celebrities are known for Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to have to have you back up right there. Hold up. Kim Kardashian is a celebrity. Hold on. Two point. Two. If you her talent. Show a nipple or fight. Either or. No. Your image is forever tainted because of Agro It's not tainting. It's like, is. I'm good. Whatever like, you did at USC, no, whatever you did with the soccer no, thing, that's not true. all of that is null and void. It's not because true. Of what you did on Bad Girls no, Club. it's not because at the end of the day, I've been able to take the whole Bad Girls Club brand and brand it into knows Natalie, Natalie and knows. Knows. I mean, And yeah. I'm going to tell you what else. It shouldn't even be, it shouldn't surprise people that you went to USC, but the way you carry yourself makes people like, what? She well, no, I would say this Natalie Nunn. And Charlamagne, Charlamagne, I did see Natalie Nunn on a flight with your boy Little Duval, and he's changed his seat and everything so they could sit together. And I will say this, and everything. Little Duval did just so he could clown her. That's everything all. that I've ever seen. That's the everything only I've ever seen Natalie that. Nunn do when she does interviews and she gets into her arguments with people, she doesn't sound stupid. Mm -mm. You know, so it's not like nobody I would said think she that was she's... stupid. Just said she looks. So do you encourage? Crazy so Angela, do you encourage young I... girls to go to path with <laughs> Natalie Nunn to be on Bad Girls Club? I encourage. I'm gonna step in and say something. I encourage any girl who goes on Bad Girls Club and can flip what they did on the Bad Girls Club to make all the money that I've made, so that she could be independent, so successful. Not go sit here and make me believe that there's so much money in not, Bad Girls Club. Not in the Bad Girls Club. Off Two thousand, three thousand an episode, maybe. No, I'm not talking about being on the show. Hosting parties? About, a couple, no, a couple thousand dollars to host a party? Parties. Did you not hear what I said? I guess you don't know what Charles Schwab is. I guess you don't know what... Well, you're, like, you, you know, know what I mean? There's certain God. things that I have been you able to... You don't have to be on the Bad Girls Club to get money to invest in stock, Natalie Knight. Come on. No, be but, for real. But no, I'm being for I real. I mean, like, different people choose different paths. Yeah, that's sure, the path she went. I, there's people opinion. that so love. Do you encourage girls to go on reality shows just because they date certain people? No, not, not at all. all. I clown them too. Yeah. I so hate you're them saying too. basically you don't really. Then you look at and you look at Jersey so, Shore and all they do on that. Bad Girls Club gave basic bitches a chance. What about Jersey Shore? A bunch I of girls like, that do nothing. What do you actually. mean? Uh, most of the girls in the Bad Girls Club really didn't do nothing. The other girls that are on these shows don't do nothing. Like they don't do anything. They're just someone's girlfriend or. You can't encourage these young girls to do shows like that. But what do your parents say? Your parents are like you. Mean? What do your parents say? My mother is an ex football player. Mm -hmm. My mother was a team Chrissy. Stay over there. No, That's I'm, crazy. I'm not team anybody, no. but I just think how you said it's immature no, just, for me to want to fight. It I think it's like immature to go on no, television no, 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 and tell a woman you banged her man just for show. Bella, right? Uh oh. No, that's not a bad question. Okay. Like before you like you know say things on TV like you know different rappers you bang. Does Jewels know about these guys beforehand? Again, like I said, and Envy already asked this question. He knows my past just like I know his. Okay. We put all our cards on the table from the gate. So you don't really have to worry about our relationship. I'm just, you know, that's just something you need to know. Well, I mean, the, your relationship is public now because it's on yeah, television. Yeah, I'm just telling you that you don't, you don't really People have are going to worry about it because you're I'm on TV now. I'm telling you because you're asking you. Are I asking do me radio. The this is my job. I'm so sure as long as you're I'm putting sure your relationship sure public, I'm going to ask questions. I'm coming to you and telling you face to face that. You know, me and Jewels are good. Come on, it, it is what it is. We all have past. Let me look up your past, Sean. I'm a hoe. Okay, a dirty let hoe. me look up your past. And I'm a <laughs> dirty hoe, and I treat hoes hey, dirty, so they hey, cannot ever go on TV and say what this. I did to them. And you I don't do know things me. like I take frozen and corn dogs listen, and stick them up their boxes the and then make them eat the corn dogs. <laughs> so they can't never go and say that they had sex with me on TV. You will actually get to know who I really am. Speaking of one on one, Chrissy Mayweather did kind of 
Victor Ortiz, you. I called you Kimbella Ortiz. You think you could take her in a one on one? Straight up fade, face to face? Listen, mono, how, mono. listen to these ignorant questions. I mean, do you want to see us fight again? Is that what you like to see us fight? I mean, like, I mean, you do, tell me. Yeah, that's yeah. what we watch the show for. That's why the producers told Ignorance. you Ignorance. to okay, say that, to I say was, you bang fast so y'all can fight. It was obviously. You're nasty. I feel it already. You know what I'm saying? This is the OG right here. Before Kim Kardashian, before Nicki Minaj, before Beyonce, you like the original great ass. There's like. only one Coca-Cola, baby. <laughs> you do go through different things in your life, and there's different phases mm -hmm. for sure, you know, and you know what's right for you, you know, don't get yourself in too much trouble with the bad boys, you know. <laughs> <laughs> trouble is fun. No, it can be fun for a little while. She's like, that's and too much it's trouble. Not fun. It's not fun then anymore. all of a sudden, it just takes a deep turn and you're like, how the hell You're on the front page of the post, like, oh my God, I'm gonna shoot it. What else? <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> Jay Rose here. You wanna holler at him? And then tell me what you think. I gotta stop looking you in the eyes, man. I feel like how Jamie Foxx talked about when he said he looked in Prince's eyes. Like I'm, my heart's beating fast. Like, yeah. Jesus Christ, she's beautiful. You're right, right. Before you walked in, he did say, what is J Lo wearing a skirt? He was trying to put a mirror on his foot. He was gonna put a mirror on his foot. He I would not do that. He okay, would. maybe I would. J Lo gotta but go. I wouldn't. J Lo gotta go, guys. We appreciate you hanging with us today. <laughs> <laughs> and you are a MILF, and I, I, I you're, All right. you're, you're yes, he's still the best ass in the business. <laughs> DJ MB, Angelina, Solomon, guys. Most influential living female, you mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. 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 Yeah. 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 Y